Welcome back to Autolux Online. This week we're looking at the 2011 Dodge Durango. Yes, the Durango is back. And hell, with a vengeance. When I saw this thing first as a sketch a couple months ago, I fell in love with it. Why? Take a look at it. How can you not fall in love with a thing like that? From its muscular, muscles car inspired side rims to its oversized and over amount of chrome accents, hell, this thing is one beefed up looking SUV. Most SUVs are built for civilian use. This thing's built for pow power. What can I say about it? Hey, maybe Dodge has got another winner on their hands. They already own the title for the world's fastest truck. Hell, why not own the world's title for the fastest SUV? Heh, somebody's got to do it. And with the new Dodge Ram, Dodge Durango SRT8 coming out before too long, yeah, maybe they're going to take a run at the fastest SUV in the world. Now, up front, we got to take a look at the amount of chrome that's here. Yeah, the grill has got lots of chrome, but hey, maybe they should have brought it down a bit. Get rid of that black cross and maybe go with chrome, or get rid of the chrome accents along the edge of it and just go with the pure black hairline grill cross. Hey. Wouldn't have looked a little bit better. Kind of take away from all of the chrome up front. Moving on to the bottom. Yeah, it does look like there's a front spoiler on this thing. And hell, there is. Something's got to keep this thing planted to the ground when you're going fast. And hey, those big tires and big wheels might do the trick. But you still need a little bit more downforce in the front end. One thing that is missing from the front end of this thing, some air ducts on the hood. Yeah, that could really help out. You might be able to see it on the new SRT8, but hey, until then, we're going to just have to suffer with this plain looking front end. Now, moving on to the side of this thing, it's got a lot of chrome, got a lot of attitude. Nice rounded curves, mixed with a little bit of high density, you know, more of a boxy style, but hey, this thing makes it look powerful. The wheels look like they're from a Challenger. All the chrome accents kind of... Make it look powerful, and uh, I don't know. Let's just move on to the back end. Moving up back, we are looking at one major great looking thing. Why? Dodge has integrated their exhaust into the rear end of this thing. That is one feature that I love with all vehicles. Now, one problem with this is the fact that the bottom skirt kit does follow. Very well done but it's quite noticeable. This vehicle is actually playing all the same black, but bottom seems to kind of stick out a bit. Why? Because it does stick out a bit. Now, moving further up the truck, you kind of start to see more of a Jeep Grand Cherokee inspired rear here. Nice, but Dodge has got to do something of their own. Hey, they're a different division of Chrysler. Might as well keep it different. When you all look the same, Nobody's going to buy your stuff. Well, we call that the GM effect over here. Moving higher up. D-pillar. Very nice done. Rear window. You can see out of it. And one great feature with this, they've done like everyone else. Top spoiler. Yeah. you got to love that. Keeps the downforce down. Keeps the truck down. And adds one wild looking sport appeal to that back end. Yeah. One poor feature with this thing is the fact that the taillights, yeah, do look exactly like a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Well, that and a Lexus LX470. You know, the Toyota 4Runner inspired Lexus. Yeah. Really, Dodge should have did some homework and made themselves something a little bit better. Even by slapping on some Dodge Charger in your taillights. Might have been a little bit better. Yeah, moving out of the bumper of this thing. It's noticeable, you know what, on this thing, it's noticeable, functional, and it does it justice. Back end of this thing, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Front end, giving it a 7 out of 10. Overall, it does have the same appeal as all SUVs, more like a Ford Expedition, Ford Explorer, uh, GMC Tahoe. Still looks like a big, bulky SUV. The only difference it has between its competitors, it looks like a fast, big, bulky SUV. This thing lets it stand out from the crowd. It did its job. 
But you know what? At the end of the day, still just a Dodge Durango. Hey, sex appeal, I'm giving this thing an 8 out of 10. I loved it from the day I saw it. Yeah, I'm not uh, biased to car companies. Sure, I like Dodge, maybe over Chevy. I like Toyota over Honda. But you know what? Occasionally some cars come along that you just love. And uh, for me, Dodge Durango is the first SUV since the Toyota 4Runner last year that I fell in love with the day I saw it. Now, natural to mysterious look. Since the Dodge Ram has been on the market for a couple years now, it's not too mysterious the design of it. It is a bit, but you can kind of see everything on it. And let's just say one last thing with how fast it goes compared to how slow it goes. This thing getting an 8 out of 10 for speed. It's one of the fastest looking SUVs on the road right now. And hey, you might even be able to hit some dirt trails with it. You never know. For this week in Auto Looks, this is Every Nicholas saying, hey, keep those bad designs coming, and I'll keep talking about them. Auto Looks, 